I love this. So every year, shortly before Mother's Day, Two Men in a Truck host its annual so-called Movers for Moms. Here to explain more is Tim Leitner of Two Men and a Truck. Tim, I love this promo. This is so important. We don't think about it enough. You know, we only think about, okay, our moms or all our grandmas on Mother's Day, but not other people's mothers. You know, we have a lot of uh, women leadership in our company. Our company was founded by a mom, mm -hmm. and um, we have our grandma rule, which was built off Grandma Ed or founded off of Grandma Ed when, Ed, when she was, uh, the company was getting started. And um, this is just a really important thing for all of us. We all have moms, and to think that there are moms in distress, moms in, in difficult times and find themselves in shelters this time of year, um, we just felt like if we could find a way to help them and make their lives a little bit more comfortable during that time, then, um, well, gosh, we should do it. And I agree. How does this work? So the really exciting part is this is really blown up this year and, and last year. We have... Um, we have these donation boxes that are appearing all over the community. So they're in schools, banks, uh, law firms, uh, drugstores. Findorf, who's building um, our building. Findorf, absolutely. Yeah. We have over 80 locations now. Uh, and people can donate um, items like soaps, shampoos, personal care products, mm -hmm. slippers, robes, pillows, cases, um, sheets, all of those kinds of things, just to help moms who find themselves in need this time of year. 60 locations. You had a very successful drive uh, last year. You did. You drop these off at shelters both in Dane and Rock County. Yes, so the items that we collect, we donate to the YWCA Women's Shelters, both here in Dane County mm -hmm. as well as Rock County. Last year we donate, or we collected over 15,000 items. Wow. This year we have, I think, something like 25 more donation sites. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting that uh, count to go a lot higher. Um, people have just been so generous, uh, and we're starting to have people uh, donate some money to uh, the cost as well. And, Great. And... Um, we're just we're just really excited to be able to help out. And uh, just a little reminder: uh, these are not used items that you're That's donating. That's correct. Yes. You know, every every girl likes her own thing, her own stuff. Absolutely. So we would like to keep stuff still in its packaging, and uh, moms will really appreciate that. So, two men and truck. How's the business going? And and uh, you know how how many uh, local offices do you have? And if people need a mover, it's the summer month. You know, it it's is time. Indeed, uh, phone you're definitely picking up. Business is picking up. Uh, we had a record year last year, and we're on pace for another record year this year. Where's your territory, Tim? Uh, so we have Dane and Rock County, and then we have a second location over Racine, Kenosha, Walworth County, and uh, so awesome. Hoping to hoping to do some more. Uh, this all wraps up May fifth, ahead of Mother's Day. That's correct. This drive, okay. For more information, all you need to do is go to NBC15.com, click on news links, and you'll see Movers for Mom. Two men in a truck, use them. Tim, thank you so much for all you Christine, do. Christine, thank you so much. We'll be right back.